Okay guys, today we're gonna hit a little bit of arm day, sublife stores. We're gonna do uh, a little combination of pre-workouts here. So I'm 12, I'm just under 12 weeks out from prep uh, for my bodybuilding shows. We're gonna use uh, Inhuman for our pre uh, with focused performance ingredients. We're gonna use the After Dark for our um, pump and then we're gonna use the Carnage Shred, burn a little fat, thermogenesis going on and creatine because we all love creatine. So let's get a nice full scoop of the EPL Plus, get that in there. Get the Inhuman from After Dark. I like this, this is a high clean energy. It's nothing crazy. Um, good pump performance focus. It's not crack, but it's, it is high clean energy. There is di-caffeine malate in there. Uh, so you have that caffeine and hydrous hit, hit you all at once. Uh, paired with the di-caffeine malate, which is that time release caffeine. Um, kind of why I like it. Carnage Shred. It's gonna help us burn fat, get us a little sweaty while we're working out. And uh, I'm gonna do a full scoop there. It's gonna help just get the uh, fat cells burning. And then we're gonna do a scoop of creatine because creatine has tremendous benefits. If you watch one of the videos on my social media, you'll see all the benefits of creatine. We're gonna mix that up or we're gonna take it down. The other benefit too about Specifically these two, but also Carnage Shred. The flavor on it is absolutely amazing. It tastes so good. Literally 10 out of a 10. Send this bad boy down the hatch. Mm. Awesome. All right. I don't know how many reps we're gonna get, but we're gonna hold it for a second on the bottom to get a, a nice stretch. Force some blood in there. This is gonna be our warm up set. A little quicker now with the reps, just to get some more blood in there. So, I was talking to a guy yesterday about training, and he was asking me why it wasn't working for him, essentially. There's three basics, four. There's four basics when it comes to training, and what it takes to build muscle. The first one is form. You're going to see my form is as close to perfect as it can be. The second is going to be intensity. You have to be intense. You can't just go through the motions. The third is going to be rest time. You can't rest too long and be talking like I'm doing. Uh, and the fourth is going to be consistency. You have to stay consistent. Change is not going to happen overnight. It takes a long time. Four basics. We're um, 12 and 14 weeks out. 12 weeks out from uh, Long Island uh, Championships for bodybuilding. And 14 weeks out from Nationals, heavyweight. We'll see how it goes. The last set here of uh, bicep curls. We're holding it for a second on the bottom, trying to get a good contraction. Um, starting to feel the energy dip just a little bit, being 12 weeks out and our carbs have been cut in half, but I still haven't done any cardio. I'm just getting my steps in. So we'll give this set everything we got. turn into a different color. I'm like Barney's sister, or Barney's brother, Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> I'm a dog, baby. So we just finished with uh, the straight, uh, straight bar bicep curls. Then we're gonna do standard dumbbell curls. We're gonna go alternating. See how they feel. Oh, baby. <sighs> Nothing heavy. We wanna get a good contraction and a decent amount of reps on this bad boy. So nothing crazy heavy. You'll notice I'm keeping my palms supinated the whole time, not allowing my bicep to get a complete rest in the bottom. So keeping my palms facing the ceiling the entire part of this set for each rep instead of turning it in at the bottom. Now I'm starting to feel the biceps work, I'm starting to feel the pump. Oh yeah, it feels good, baby. Oh my gosh, it's a little harder on lower carbs to catch a pump faster, but we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, last set on these dumbbell curls. Sound relatively light. Just starting to feel a little bit of a pump now. 
on the uh, last set of our second exercise in for biceps. We don't really have an intended rep range. We're just going to failure, just trying to feel it. And we're not rushing through it either. We're trying to feel each part of the movement. Oh my God. Wowzers. Starting to catch a bicep pump. So as you can see, I only did 30 pounds. Um, you would probably see somebody like me, heavyweight bodybuilder, and think I'm gonna do like 70 pounds. I can do 70 pounds, but the quality of the reps probably wouldn't be great. And also now that I'm in prep, I don't wanna run risk of getting injured. So I wanna make sure that everything I'm doing is going to be controlled. I could swing it up with a 70 and come back down and run risk of injury. Now that my fats and carbs are a little lower, I don't wanna do that. So it's taking a little longer to get a pump just because I don't have as much glycogen in there, but. I can make, I can even make, you know, 15 or 10 pounds work. It might take a little, you know, a few more reps to get there, but um, 30 pounds, you know, I can make 40 work, 30, 20, just kind of what I picked and went with today. And uh, I felt it and I made it work. So again, another movement that I'm not going super heavy with, um, the preacher curls. I could, you're gonna see somebody like me, oh, the guy's only got 40 pounds in there for two hands, 20 pounds per hand. My goal here is maximum you know, effort, failure, higher rep range, so 20 reps. You, the pump that you get with time under tension, slow and controlled is insane. So I'm, I'm gonna shoot for 20 reps. I might get 18, I might get 21 or 22, um, but I only grab 40 pounds because I'm gonna go closer with my grip. So with biceps, the closer you go, the more of your outer head with your brachialis that you're gonna hit, and the wider you go, the more of your inner head that you're gonna hit. So we're gonna focus on our outer head, trying to get that peak um, and you know, incorporate the brachialis in this. Also, when you're doing preacher curls, you want to bury your armpit on the pad and you kind of want to stay like this and stay in one spot. You don't want to be rotating because you're going to eliminate the work that's going to be done in your bicep on you know, the, uh, the stretch part, the contraction part. You want it to just nice and controlled. And if you're not being controlled, you're not fully using your bicep for the, the entire part of that movement. So we're going to get into this a little closer using a camber bar. Then we're gonna bury our arm, armpits the best we can. And I'm just gonna stay in the same position without using any body English. And the only thing that's moving is from my elbow to my hands. You can see the same tempo. The tempo discipline is so hard. You have to be disciplined to have that same tempo. Because when times get hard, people wanna jump ship and abandon that tempo. But if you stay with that same tempo, Man, it takes everything out of you. And you want to get 20 reps, baby, and maintain that tempo discipline. I don't know if you want to get red like this, during a work set because it's probably not good for your health and your blood pressure is probably skyrocketing, but it at least is indicative of you working hard. Okay, so this is gonna be our last bicep movement for the workout. Um, just very simple, straight bar bicep curls with cable, full range of motion, trying to get a good stretch and a good contraction. Usually when you finish with these, you get a pretty nasty pump. Um, so we'll see how, how it pans out. Again, you'll see we're not going too heavy, only 80 pounds, so. So guys, a lot of people want to know how to build massive triceps. You got to spend time warming them up. You got to make sure you hit all three heads. You got to do high reps, short rest time. So I'm just going to show you how we're going to warm up. We're gonna bring the cable straight down in front of us to hit the first head. We're gonna bring it across our body to hit the second head. And we're gonna bring it over our head to hit the third head, getting a really good stretch there. And we're gonna be doing 20 reps on each one. So if you wanna get some nasty, some massive triceps and feel like a little baby because the weight you're gonna use is not a lot, try that for your next tricep day. You'll feel a nasty pump. So we're gonna do uh, our second and third movements here. Um, well, we should our fourth and fifth because we did three movements on the, uh, the cables. Um, we're going to do skull crusher, super set with close grip. 
three to four sets of 12 to 15 reps. Um, slow and controlled, time and attention. It's kind of been my MO for every movement. That's how you build muscle, baby. It's not a race, you don't want to rush through it. Then we're going to go right into close grip. So we're going to finish out with dips here. We're going to do uh, four sets, 12 to 15 reps. Again, it's not a race. We're not gonna rush through this. I'm gonna try to feel each part of this movement and uh, yeah, just maximize each part of this movement. Let's go, baby. Oh. Oh. All right, guys, just wrapping up here. Nice little arm day, nothing crazy. Like I said, we're about 12 uh, weeks out from show number one in, all, in Long Island. Show number two is nationals. It'll be my third national show. I'm trying to give it everything I have. So if you want to follow the journey, I'd love for you to follow along, have any questions, support, whatever. I appreciate that. Also, shout out to The Edge. I know a lot of people hate on The Edge, but it's a great, it's a great gym. It's my home gym. Uh, there's so many gyms out there. It's always clean. It's always nice. My home one is Bristol, Connecticut, but shout out to The Edge. Um, if you guys have any questions or supplement needs, supplementstores.com. We have everything on there and explicitsarms.com. We have all different research compounds on that site. So stay tuned until next time. Big twig, baby. Peace out.